Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler and I am announcing a new class to begin next week with the Institute of All Intelligent Life. Uh, it will begin on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. in California which corresponds to Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 a.m. in Pakistan. So um, that's the purpose of this announcement to let everybody know this class will be about world peace without Armageddon. Uh, if you're familiar with traditions in many religions and many cultures there is going to be world peace established. Everyone agrees on that. The day will come when everyone will wake up and become a little sane because now everybody is pretty crazy and sleeping. So we think it's good to have wars and fight and everything. Uh, but there will come a day, not too long, God willing, when there will be world peace established. Everyone around the world agrees. They all say that that time will come. Maybe there are a few people that don't, but almost everybody agrees. Everyone can foresee that time will come when there will be world peace. So, they also almost all agree <laughs> that before that time of world peace comes, there will be a period of uh, war, and a great horrible war, uh, world war, maybe nuclear war, atomic war, uh, great suffering in which uh, half or two-thirds or three-quarters or 90 percent of the people in the world uh, will lose their lives. That is what we hear from many uh, persons like Nostradamus who could see into the future to some degree and uh, there are many others also. Uh, they all agree that that's going to happen. So. In this class, we're going to be discussing how Happy New Year. I hear Mohammed Shamsi Tabriz saying Happy New Year 2018. So, yes, Happy New Year. This will be a Happy New Year, God willing, uh, because we are going to see, people are going to understand that world war is not necessary. Nuclear war is not necessary <laughs> in order to bring about world peace. Uh, rather, love truth, justice, kindness to each other and to ourselves, forgiving each other and forgiving ourselves. This will bring world peace. And that Armageddon, which was the name given in the Christian tradition, Jewish tradition, I think also for the world war, uh, because they say it will happen or be centered in a place which is uh, in Israel called Armageddon or Megiddo. They say that's where that final battle will be. Therefore it was given that name Armageddon. But in other traditions also there are the similar ideas that there will be a great catastrophe, a huge war, world war, and after that peace will be established. So we are happy to announce <laughs> that although that was true, that was the destiny of the world, that was prophesied by all great prophets and saints and seers that has been changed, believe it or not. <laughs> Hard to believe, but that's what this course is going to be about, which will go on for seven weeks, beginning next Monday evening in California, next Tuesday morning in Pakistan. And we're going to be discussing how I found this out, how I learned this. We'll review some of the prophecies also and uh, then we will be discussing how this world peace can be established and how this world war will be avoided. And uh, just one more, <laughs> one more very, very interesting thing which I've already posted on my Facebook page. Um, this is already starting with the arrest and detention of many of the leaders of the so-called War on Terror. <laughs> the American War on Terror against the so-called terrorists when the 
real terrorists <laughs> were the <laughs> leaders of the American government, the secret government of America themselves. Uh, they started this so-called war on terror, especially with 9-11, which was not done by Osama bin Laden. <laughs> How could even a very intelligent and capable person sitting in a cave in Afghanistan arrange to attack the Pentagon with an airplane? <laughs> and the Pentagon, which has all these anti-aircraft batteries around it, the most heavily defended place in the world, no, it's not possible. Uh, that was not an airplane anyway. It was a American missile that hit the Pentagon. And uh, it hit that very office, believe it or not, where all the records were being kept investigating and exposing these treasonous uh, traitors who have now been arrested, are being arrested, and uh, the world war that they were planning. They were planning these uh, horrible satanic people were actually planning a world war. They're still trying to get it started, but they, they're not able to because that's the only way they can think of that they can escape uh, being caught for all their immense crimes like creating 9-11 and killing thousands of people, creating the Iraq war and killing millions of people. They created the first and second world wars also. They were responsible for them. So now those criminals are finally being exposed they're being caught and arrested. Uh, they will be tried. Some of them may be <laughs> killed without getting a tr proper trial, but that's what happens in cases like this. Not that I'm advising that, but that's what is being happened. That could, could often happen in situations like this. But whether they have a trial or not, they will be punished severely for these abominable crimes. They've been uh, crimes against humanity, genocide, and they will be adequately punished. Or perhaps, who knows, they may be forgiven also. Amnesty does exist. Some of them, many of them who are involved in it but were less aware of what they were doing, uh, they may be pardoned. But uh, this is what's happening right now. So I saw a question, how do we know that uh, we <laughs> this year will be the world of the year of peace? I'm not saying this year will bring world peace. What I'm saying is, right now, in the beginning of this wonderful year, 2018, the process is beginning. The criminals who were planning World War III have been stopped and they are being now arrested. So it's very good news. Mohammed Rumil says, yes, how a plane can even come near to the Pentagon? Yes, not possible. So uh, Mohammed Rumil also says, how this genocide of human race across the world can be eliminated? by catching the people who are doing it, obviously. <laughs> so now, uh, praise God, very, very intelligent and loyal, patriotic people in the Pentagon in America, in the CIA even, they're good people even in the CIA, uh, they are now working together with uh, good people all around the world to capture and arrest these criminals who have been perpetuating this genocide of many, many different peoples, the whole human race. So this is a big uh, victory. So, all right, let me go back. I see there are many, many comments already. Ooh, so many, I don't know if I'll be able to get to them all. But uh, we will uh, see any good questions here. How are you? Ahmed Hazara is asking. I am very happy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also in good health, good enough health, to be very, very happy by this wonderful news, which has only come out, really, just in the last week or two we've learned about this, although it's been under planning for many, many years. Actually, even from... Uh, I think it began, I heard this, in the Korean War, the... Uh, United States, of course, was fighting, and they discovered that whenever they were making uh, an attack, a secret, so-called, you know, they planned to attack a certain area, the North Koreans already knew that they were coming. So these were the Pentagon officials. They said, so they, they said, why is this? So they realized somebody was leaking 
their military intel. Their military plans were known by the enemy. So what they did was they, very cleverly, they made a number of different, uh, slightly different reports of their plans. So they sent to different people the different plans, of course, and then they would be able to tell uh, according to which plan they made that was being revealed to the enemy, they would tell that was the person who was leaking this information. And among other officials in the United States government and different allies, they also sent a copy, a slightly different copy from the others to the United Nations. And that was the one that was being reported. So they realized that the United Nations is uh, against them and is revealing their plans to the enemy so that they will not win. So uh, beginning then, this is the early 1950s, which means it's more than 60 years ago, the American military, the good people in the American military, started realizing that there is a very, very powerful force in the world. Of course, some of them knew it even before that, but then they decided we've got to start doing something about this. And uh, <clears throat> then the next big incident that happened was the assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. President Kennedy was a very good man, and he was against these satanic people. We called them the cabal. They called themselves the uh, Illuminati. They think they're illumined, but actually they're in darkness. <laughs> uh, they're Zionists, because we, that is the one name also given to those people, because there is a mountain or mount in Jerusalem called Zion, and they want to make that the capital of their world government, which they want to control. So these people, whatever name you give them, they are very, very evil, very selfish, very wealthy, extremely wealthy, because all the international bankers, banksters I call them, are in with them. So uh, when Kennedy was assassinated, President Kennedy, then the uh, Pentagon, the good people in the American military, uh, really became concerned because they knew uh, that this was not, they knew it was all a cover-up. It was not Lee Harvey Oswald who killed JFK, uh, but it was these same uh, satanic people. So they, from that time, also 1963, see some 1950, early 50s, early 60s, more and more they've been working. And finally, now, only uh, this past year, have they been in a strong enough position to really start uh, carrying out their plans to uh, control and to uh, attack and to finish off this satanic force. So almost 70 years, you can say, for 65 years, they've been working on this. And finally, that plan, carefully planned, carefully laid plan, has come to fruition. And fortunately, President Trump, for all of the propaganda against him that you hear in the mass media, he is not with those satanic Illuminati, uh, those, that cabal. He is fighting against them. And one thing he's already been doing for many, many months is uh, catching, arresting people in, engaged in pedophilia and human trafficking. And he promised he would do this, and he has been doing it. And hundreds and thousands of the people involved in that slave trade, uh, both of children and of women and of men, boys, they're all over the world. This racket has been going on for a long time. And Trump has been arresting them, and he has been firing judges in the United States who refused to prosecute, and not judges, I should say, prosecutors, maybe judges too, people in the, in the uh, court systems who were not going along with his plans to, uh, to capture and, and arrest these people, he fired them. So this is not being reported in the mass media, but this is a very good thing that he has been doing. And of course the mass media has been saying every horrible thing they can think of about Trump and making up all sorts of lies also. So um, of course Trump, is, at least in the beginning, he was very obligated to go along with them to a certain degree. Otherwise, uh, they may have killed him. I'm certainly they were certain they were threatening him. But uh, he is now being protected by uh, very elite uh, American military groups, and the Marines especially, I've heard. So he is safe from these satanic people. And now, just in the last couple of weeks, he has passed this executive order on December 21st, 
to uh, go against all of the people engaged in corruption and gross human right abuses. Uh, you won't read about this <laughs> in most of the mass media, at least if they, if they do report it, they certainly don't tell you the real purpose behind it was to start going after these uh, criminals who have been doing genocide and uh, all sorts of corrupt activities uh, throughout the world. So now uh, they're being arrested and world peace is coming much more soon than we had anticipated was possible. And actually they, these same demons, these same very, very satanic people, they uh, are actually involved in the North Korean government also. They make it seem like North Korea is the enemy of the United States. Uh, it is, really. It's, it's uh, an enemy of the good United States, but not the previous United States. The previous United States was very, very evil, very satanic. The government was controlled by these satanic people. So, uh, fortunately, that has now changed, and uh, the truth is coming out. So, we're looking forward to... Uh-oh, now the same thing has happened. I can't make my, anyway, I can't make my cell phone comments go back up. So I can only read the ones that are now. I can't go back and see the ones that were there before. All right, so let's see what. Uh, Ali Haider, it is always astounding to see you and listen to you either in English or Urdu. Much respect. Yes, yes, I can say this. We will have the Urdu chat on Saturday as usual. हर सनीचर को हम ये क्लास करते हैं आठ बजे सुबह कैलिफोर्निया में नौ बजे शाम को पाकिस्तान में वो भी इसी सनीचर को होगा परसों सो वी विल हैव अ क्लास इन उर्दू ऑन सैटरडे मॉर्निंग इन अमेरिका इवनिंग इन पाकिस्तान एंड वी विल हैव द इंग्लिश क्लासेस ऑन मंडे एंड वेंसडे इवनिंग इन कैलिफोर्निया Tuesday and Thursday morning in Pakistan. All right, let's see. So, Nobel Hamid Khan. <laughs> Good evening, dear sir. How are you? I hope you well, inshallah. Thank you very much. I am very well, and as I've been saying, very, very happy. We should all be very happy. Uh, Tahir Ahmed Khan says, Happy New Year. Yes, this is going to be a very, very happy year for the... <laughs> for the saintly people, <laughs> for the good people. <laughs> and it's going to be a very, very bad year for the demonic people, for the satanic people, for the evil people, because they are all being arrested and captured and tried and uh, punished. <laughs> so very good news. And without succeeding in, this step, in starting that third world war, which was their plan. Muhammad Ramil, how do you, how you see this year for world peace? Yes, great progress will be made, no doubt. I cannot give any details. I don't know them myself. But the process of establishing world peace uh, all over the world has already started. And we can pray that it will also uh, happen in Pakistan because the corrupt politicians are being... They've all, some of them have already been. <laughs> the Supreme Court has removed them and pointed out that they are corrupt. <laughs> and so they will be more fully removed when the election next happens. And we will get a good government in Pakistan, inshallah. And peace will be established in Pakistan. And Pakistan will set the example, in my humble opinion. It is my fervent prayer that in Pakistan we will see the beginning of world peace as true Muslims, true Loving, truthful, just, kind. That's what Islam means. Love and truth and kindness and justice. Uh, that sort of real Muslim will become uh, the leaders of the government in Pakistan. And there will be peace in Pakistan and the whole world will follow the example um, of Pakistan, inshallah. So, Chaudhry Naveed says, We love to see peaceful world. As famous quote is, love others to love yourself. Yes. Very nice quote. Uh, we love others and we love ourselves also. We should forgive others, whatever they have done against us, and we should forgive ourselves also. Because we've all made mistakes, so let us forget the past, forgive the past, and move on into a loving and peaceful world where everyone 
uh, is together in uh, love and in peace and in progress. All right. Muhammad Romil, U.S.-Pakistan relations are important for world peace? Question mark. Yes, I think so. Uh, all the world <laughs> must have good relations. And I do believe that both the United States, now that it's getting freed from the satanic control, and Pakistan as it becomes free from the satanic control. Because the Pakistan military, just like the U.S. military, there are many, many very good people in the military. And the governments have both been extremely corrupt for many years, many decades, um, but now that is changing. And I think in 2018 we will see a major change and Pakistan-U.S. relations should become very good as the truth is understood. Uh, Ali Haider says, the world needs love and respect towards each other and a bit of tolerance to bear each other's beliefs. Hats off to your endeavors towards peace and harmony. Thank you very much. Uh, there is also a question about how to join the class uh, beginning next week. You go to the Institute of All Intelligent Life website. That is www.allintelligentlife.com. And there you can see the details. At least it will be up very soon. Um, the classes will be on my uh, Facebook page here live and anyone can watch them uh, but there is a tuition fee if you want to make sure your questions are answered if you want to have personal conferences with me and if you want to uh, have a get a certificate uh, then you have to pay it will be ninety five dollars for this winter interterm course a shorter course of seven weeks and then it will be followed by a course uh, beginning in the beginning of March, which will be longer, which will be, uh, it has been $150 per semester. Um, and that will be on um, extraterrestrial cosmology, history, information about many different extraterrestrial races on different planets, and how, how they have been related to each other, and what they are doing right now. So that will be the course beginning in March. Um, but this course is beginning next week and will go on for uh, most of January and February. So go to allintelligentlife.com, www.allintelligentlife.com, and you can get more information. Muhammad Rumil, it's not possible ever. Uh, I'm not sure what it is you're meaning that is not possible, but world peace is possible not only is it possible everybody practically without exception every tradition all over the world every prophet every seer has said there will be world peace one day uh, maybe you mean it's not possible without that big war which everyone thought would be coming okay you can think that no problem in fact that's what most people believe because that's what everyone has been taught for thousands of years um, so maybe you think it's not possible for that to be changed God can change anything. <laughs> Doesn't God have the ability to change anything? God may pro 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 prophesy. God may decide that there will be a time when there will be a great world war. Then world peace will be established. But if he wants to, he was the one who made that part of human destiny. If he wants to change that destiny, why can't he do it? So it is possible. God is all-powerful. <laughs> Allah. Allahu Akbar. God is the most great. He can do whatever he wants. So if he wants to change what he had destined, he can do that also. Muhammad Shamsi Tabriz asks, what is going on in the world, sir? What is going on right now, I have explained this before, just even this morning, just now. What is going on is that the good people have gained enough power uh, in the American military especially to start arresting uh, the demonic leaders, the big politicians who were very corrupt and who had created this false war on terror, who had been the ones really responsible for 9-11. And uh, so they're being arrested right now. And uh, they will be tried and punished. That's what's going on. And that's the only way that world peace can be established without a big world war. 
because these are the people who have been creating the world wars and who want world wars because through the war they can make a lot of money because they control the arms industries, they control the, the petroleum especially and energy companies, so they make a lot of money off of war. So that's one reason and also it makes that they can get everyone afraid and uh, they can gain more power and control. So that's what their plan was. That's what they did in the First World War, resulting in the League of Nations, which was their first step towards their one world government. After the Second World War, they made the United Nations, which was also controlled by the demons for making, uh, increasing their plan to make a one world government under their control. And their plan was to have a Third World War, after which, which it was supposed to have already started, at least, you know, almost 2018, year, 19 years, 1999 was their date because they wanted to have their control of the world complete by the year 2000. That was their plan. But in 1999, when that war was scheduled, uh, it was stopped by the grace of God. So now things have been playing out and uh, this is what's really going on in the world. <laughs> to know the real history of the world. They don't teach you this in schools and universities. You can find out about it now through the internet. That's how I learned about it a lot. But this is what's really going on in the world. The mass media is all lies. They won't tell you what's really going on. All right. Uh, let's see, any other good questions? Muhammad Rumiel, how this genocide of human race across the world can be eliminated? The same answer. It's being eliminated right now. First you have to arrest the people who have been doing that genocide. So these were, as I had said in my post, the Bush family, the Clinton family, and uh, Dick Cheney especially, who was vice president. He was the one who really engineered more than anybody else. He was controlling 9-11 as it happened. Uh, so these are the people who must be eliminated first. They are being, and they are being arrested, and then the genocide will be stopped, and world peace will be established. Wahab Sati, Quran Pak say each and everything. Yes. Nasir Ahmed, dear Alan, be careful when you are touching such big issues, which does not be in favor of U.S. Also, not suits their arms business in the world. Don't worry. You don't believe in God. You don't believe Allahu Akbar? <laughs> God is great. God is powerful enough. And God can protect. God does protect. And also, actually, there, there are laws. There are universal laws. Just like in this world, there are laws, that international laws, that in a war, uh, the Red Cross cannot be attacked. You know, If there is a tent in the middle of a war field, uh, middle of a battlefield, and that has that you know, white circle with the red cross on it. That means is these are medical workers, peace workers, so nobody is allowed to attack them. Of course, they do sometimes, but they're not supposed to. That's the rule. So there is a similar rule throughout the universe that those good people who are working for peace, uh, they cannot be attacked and killed. If they themselves are not doing anything wrong, they are protected. So as long as we who are speaking against... <laughs> these big issues, exposing these big issues, we are being protected uh, by the laws of nature and by the power of God. So don't worry. <laughs> Salman Hafiz, who is arrested? Uh, the Bushes, the Clintons. Uh, they, are the, they were the two big uh, families who were doing all sorts of horrible things uh, in the last, and Obama was their man. Obama, I have heard, I don't know exactly uh, if he's been arrested, but he is trying to uh, run away from America to England because the American military uh, has now been uh, captured by the good people. So, uh, But the British military and some of the other countries in the world have not yet, so that's why Obama was trying to flee to England to get protected there. Uh, but uh, you have to do your own research. Do a little research on the Internet. You won't read this <laughs> in the newspapers or see it on television, but if you do your own research, you can find out. What about your lecture on alien life? Yes, uh, this class on world peace without Armageddon has a lot to do with aliens, so-called aliens. I don't call them aliens. I call them our space brothers and sisters. Uh, they have been helping. In fact, 
with their help, with the angelic extraterrestrials, because there are evil extraterrestrials also. There are satanic extraterrestrials also, just like there are human beings. And there are very good angelic extraterrestrials also, just like there are very good human beings. So uh, with their help, this has all been possible. So when we are going to be talking in this class, it's going to be a lot of discussion about aliens, about extraterrestrials, about our space brothers and sisters and how they have been uh, helping us also in this. Muhammad Ramil, do you think youth can play a positive role to bring world together? Yes. In fact, the youth are the ones who are going to do it more than anyone else. Really, uh, definitely, no doubt at all. The youth are the ones who do not harbor so much hatred for other people. Um, I've seen this just recently in Pakistan because I've been going to Pakistan almost every year for many, many years. And I've seen in the last several years a change. The young people in Pakistan are different. They are very, very uh, hopeful, intelligent, um, perceptive. They are aware of what's really going on much more than they used to be. And it is these young people in America also who will bring about world peace uh, more than the older people <laughs> definitely <laughs> so certainly Ali Shah then what will happen to Dajjal uh, Dajjal will be finished <laughs> Dajjal will not be able to succeed in his plan to create a world war and a world government under his control that's not going to happen he will be defeated uh, sir is there alien life exist yes <laughs> Many times I've said, I have met people from other planets myself, many people, thousands, millions of people, but you just don't read about it in the newspapers or on TV. Uh, there have been many hundreds and thousands of books have been written by people who have met extraterrestrials and who have, and uh, even President Eisenhower of the United States 60 years ago, it's more than 60 years ago, met extraterrestrials and had drawn up some treaties, signed some treaties with them. So alien life certainly exists. <laughs> uh, people from other planets have been coming here for a long time. They, they used to be called, the good ones were called angels, the bad ones were called demons or devils or fallen angels, but they have been here for thousands of years and now they have become very active. Just in the last few years they've become much more active to help protect us uh, against these uh, satanic forces. So I will be talking a lot about that in the class also. Okay, we have a good evening from Dubai, Tahir Goshi. Good evening to Dubai. Good morning here in California. <laughs> Very beautiful morning here. I am actually at my mother-in-law's house. We are going back home today, but we have been here. My good wife has been here for several days since New Year's Eve and I have come down to pick her up. So, we are near the San Francisco airport here. That's why, if you have heard them, there go, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one airplane over there, another one coming. Uh, so, good evening to Dubai and good morning to everyone who might be in California or the Western United States. Ali Shah and the Zionist chain which is behind the Jal, how they will be stopped. They are being stopped. They are being arrested. They are being captured. That's how they are being stopped. Habibur Rahman says, Aslam Alaikum Muhattaram Aap or Aap Ke Ghar Me Sab Khariyat Se Or Aap Mujhe Abhi Jana Hai so I have to go now because I have uh, some other work to do. But, or apki or apki zoja sahaba ki sahet kasi hai. So he's asking how we are, my family. We are doing well. We're very happy with this wonderful news about the end of the cabal. And I just got a message from my brother, who lives in Berkeley. I'm going to see him. We will be having lunch together. So I do have to get moving. I will just take, as I go, I'll walk in. 
uh, I found that I was in the house this morning and I was not getting a signal. I could not get onto my Facebook live chat from inside the house, so I came out. But now I have to go in, so I may get cut off. But as I, as I walk, I'll see if there's one or two more questions. Current war of words and hot ties between U.S. and Pakistan are not in favor of either side. How would you justify these allegations from U.S. administration? Uh, I, I have answered this question before. This question has come up, and I answered it recently. But I'll say again that uh, Donald Trump is either he's being obliged to say these things for whatever reason. Uh, he doesn't want to, but he's under a lot of pressure to from, for various reasons. Or he doesn't really understand Pakistan. Because in Pakistan, just like everywhere in the world, there are two factions. So the Pakistan government is controlled by evil people. The Pakistan government is uh, under the thumb, under the control of these international banksters. Uh, but the Pakistan military has been more and more getting out of their control. Uh, but President Trump may not be aware of what's really going on in Pakistan. So I'm losing the signal, um, but thank you all very, very much for watching. And if you know Urdu, you can join our chat uh, on uh, Saturday morning here in California, Saturday evening, 9 p.m. in Pakistan. Uh, and next week, Monday and Wednesday, uh, 6 p.m. in America, in California, and Tuesday and Thursday, 7 a.m. in Pakistan. We will be having a class for seven weeks on world peace without Armageddon. So look forward to seeing you then.